What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about who killed who and who attacked who in Scream 2022. So we're going to be looking at as the title, and as I just said, suggest every not only kill, but every attack as well, and try to figure out which of the killers actually did it. Okay, so obviously this is going to contain major spoilers, uh, so be warned, but obviously we have Amber and Richie as the two killers, and we're going to jump right in. I think some of these are a lot easier to place than others. I think some they purposely made kind of ambiguous, so you don't know for sure uh, who it could have been. But obviously starting at the very beginning in the uh, Terra attack, I fully believe this is Amber. We'll talk about a couple of the reasonings uh, as this video goes on. But one thing I want to say, too, is kind of separate from that. The phone call, I also believe is Amber, but I feel like they left it maybe like 5 or 10% possible that it could have been Richie. I actually kind of like the idea that Richie could have been on the phone and maybe just knew what was going on or maybe was there, but Amber was doing the dirty work at the same time, okay? I fully believe that's probably not the case. I fully believe Amber was the one on the phone. She knows Tara the best, so she can impersonate somebody who's supposed to be you know, uh, I guess a close person with her mom. And then also she would know the layout of her house and, and all of that different kind of stuff. Plus the fact that, you know, Amber's phone was being used in this entire thing. And yes, while Richie could have cloned her phone, it also makes sense that Amber just flat out, you know, was using it. We also have the attack style. And I want to make kind of a, a note of this as the video goes along is that Amber's style in terms of my theory, is very stab-heavy, very, uh, I guess, multiple stab. Whereas Richie is more of a, a one-and-done kind of guy, and, and again, I'll give examples of that as this video goes, but the way Tara was attacked, to me, very much indicates it was Amber based off of the aggressiveness, the stomp. Now, yes, could Amber, you know, theoretically stomp, or, you know, or I guess, would that be easier for Richie to do? Of course it would. Obviously, you have to suspend your disbelief a little bit in these movies anyway, because Amber, obviously, is a lot bigger when she's wearing the ghost face costume, because it's a stunt double, but I really think the way the attack played out and how many times Tara was stabbed specifically the end of the sequence very much leads it to be, uh, to being Amber plus later on in the movie at the hospital which we know that was Amber in the ghost face mask she says over the phone to Sam that she'll make sure to hit all of Tara's vital organs that I missed last time and that was the quote so Yes, could he, uh, you know, could Amber be saying that, but, but I guess mean it as ghost face, as in her or Richie? Yeah, but in my opinion, I really think she literally means herself. Like, I'm going to get her in the organs that I literally missed last time because I was the one to attack her in the house. That is the most, I guess, definitive clue that that was Amber, but again, based off of attack style, I don't think it's the only clue. Number two is obviously Vince's attack. Now, this time, actually, it's Vince's kill. Now, again, I guess it could have technically been Amber, but to me, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. The window is very small, so Vince is kicked out of the bar, right? And then also the, the, the new cast is kicked out of the bar, and a lot of them are there. So, theoretically, could Amber have done it? Yeah. There, I guess, was enough time to, you know, separate from the group put on the outfit, and then, you know, do the attack, but I really think just because Richie wasn't there at all, it makes the most sense for Richie to have done it. Richie's whereabouts, uh, specifically in this portion of the movie, is one of the most mysterious. You know, most of the time, you can actually place where Richie is, whereas uh, Amber is not even in the movie all that much, but for this, Richie is missing, and also, again, based off of attack style, which will continue to be, I, I would say, supported, this theory, as the video goes on, it's a one and done it's literally a stab through the neck you know we thought in the trailer that maybe there'd be a little bit no more no actually the trailer exactly shows how it's played out he gets stabbed through the throat he lands on the ground he tries to crawl away and that's it game over uh and and again i just feel like that's such a different kind of way of taking the person out whereas Tara was very different than that, right? Where I just feel like they were different killers at that point. So I'm going to give this one to Richie based off of just one and done, which we'll see as the movie goes on. Next attack is on Sam. Now, this one is easily the easiest one. This is Richie, right? Richie's alibi was that he was watching Netflix, in which nobody could you know, say, oh yeah, that, that's true, I saw him doing that. He was watching Netflix and 
this is the time where they try to make Amber innocent, right? Because Judy is interrogating Amber at the time of this Sam attack. So there's no way it could have been Amber. It has to be Richie. This one is very, very easy. But next up is the hardest one, in my opinion, of the entire movie. Now, I even talked about this in a live stream to try to get as many people's opinions outside of my own to add on. And I still feel pretty confident in my thought or my theory of this. Judy and Wes. Now, the tough thing here, I would say, actually the hardest thing probably to place is phone call. Who was the one on the phone to Judy? That one I truly do not know, okay? I just, I, I actually think it could have been Amber, it could have been Richie. Um, ah, man, I, I feel like it maybe makes more sense for it to be Amber. To, I guess maybe it doesn't really matter, right? When it comes to the attacks, okay, I fully think the person who attacked uh, Judy was Amber, whereas the person who attacked Wes was Richie. And so I'm going to go through the reasonings why. This is what I think is the easily the most divisive you know, thing in the entire movie. So Judy is caught off guard, so I have really no problem with it being Amber, right? Because it's not like she overpowered a, a sheriff. It's that she caught her off guard and stabbed her from around a corner. But again, if you notice how this works, is Amber, again, is stab heavy. Uh, Judy gets stabbed multiple times. Another thing to note, okay... That is also the exact same, except for one exception, is every time it's Amber, she always needs to use both hands. I actually kind of respect the movie for this because they're trying their best to make it be like, okay, yes, a five foot three person, five foot five, you know, 110 pound person is going to have some trouble overpowering people bigger than her. So every time Amber has the knife, she tends to use her second hand to drive it down. I believe she does this with Tara at some point, but it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't work in that case. But with Judy, it does. So Judy, uh, after she gets stabbed and falls, the next thing Amber does is go for the stab. Judy grabs the hand, and then Amber has to use her other hand to smack the knife hand down into Judy, okay? Again, it's a theme you see only, in my opinion, with Amber and then one time with Richie that we'll talk about. But that's another thing. So Judy gets stabbed multiple times. Again, very different from Wes and Vince. And also, both hands needed to be used in order, in my opinion, uh, to overpower her, okay? So that's what I believe happened there. I believe Amber then left and probably made her way to the hospital. And then Richie took care of of Wes. A thing also to note is the blade, when it was about to, you know, stab Wes, was no blood on it. Now, Ghostface has a thing for, you know, wiping the blood off of the blade, so I guess it could have been the same person, but that could be another hint that it was, it, it was somebody else. Uh, again, Wes was, now, again, Wes was stabbed with both hands. I believe this is the only time Richie uses both hands to do it, and again, though, it was through the throat. I just feel like if it was the same person that stabbed Judy or killed Judy that then killed Wes, why were the styles so extremely different? Yes, could have been for a movie, could have been for flair and suspense and stuff like that, but also in terms of the smarts of the movie, which I do think the movie was pretty smart at times, uh, it just didn't make sense for it to be the same person. Now, one other thing I do want to clear up because people are kind of getting it confused Timing and windows also make sense for this one. The last time you see both Amber and Richie is at Mindy and Chad's house where they're explaining what a requel is and all that stuff. Sam leaves that house. She has the hallucination of Billy, and then she eventually stumbles on the, the Judy West attack in which she calls Richie, and Richie is eating pizza and watching Stab 8, okay? She then tells him what happened, and, and then he goes to the hospital, all right? So we don't know where Richie went in between Ch uh, Mindy and Chad's house and wherever he was when he was eating pizza watching the movie. We don't know what happened in between. We also don't know where Amber went, right? We do know, though, that both of them eventually made their way to the hospital because Richie went there to check on Tara and then Amber went there to be Ghostface, right? So I think there's enough leeway or enough, uh, I guess, room in the story where both of them could have left Mindy and Chad's house at the same time, done the Judy West attacks back to back, and then both kind of split up to then do 
the next part of their plan. All right, I just want to make that part clear. Terra's attack, very easy. I guess at the hospital, right? Obviously, it was <laughs> Amber as Ghostface. Dewey's death, obviously the same thing. I mean, Amber admits it later on in the movie as if it was even a question because Richie was standing right there. But, you know, obviously that is uh, what happened in those attacks. And then really the last couple of them is Chad. Chad had to have been Amber. Um, again, based off of, you could even uh, count this to style. So we know it was Amber because Richie was driving Sam and Tara at the time. So it literally could not have been him. But again, to back up my further, statements of her being very you know stab heavy that's what she did to Chad again you know what I mean it didn't work Chad survived but she stab she sliced his leg stabbed his shoulder and I believe stabbed him two to three times in the back when he was laying down as well before the car came in and she had to bolt so again you know she tends to be very stab heavy Richie tends to uh to not be and then finally uh we have the last two I guess Liv's death is very easy to place because we literally saw Amber do it and Mindy I believe was Richie um I well, I guess this one to me is very, very obvious because I believe at the same time that was happening, Amber was with Tara, and I'm pretty sure, you know, because they came out and they were looking for her uh, inhaler, I guess it could have been her if they got split up, but I mean, the house is big, but it's not... You know, it's not like a street long big. Like, I don't think they're going to really get lost like that. It makes sense for it to be Richie. Richie wanted Mindy to go down in the basement with him. You know what I mean? That was the plan. And so when she didn't do that, which is like, oh, okay, cool, funny, you make the joke. But I think that's what Richie really wanted. So obviously he just came back up as Ghostface and and uh, tried to take her out, right? And that's uh, that's pretty much how that goes. So that's... Every attack, obviously, then we got the final scene. Amber attacks Sydney. Obviously, had to have been her because Richie was, um, you know, just in plain clothes. And the rest of the movie is history. So, like I said, I think everything is pretty easy. This is one of the easier movies, I think, to fully place everything. The Judy West one, besides Kill Style, there's really no definitive way of nailing who did it or if it was just one or, or you know, whatever. Uh, that was the hardest one, and I feel like they did that on purpose just to kind of leave it open. But everything else, I feel like, was pretty, you know, relatively straightforward as to who it had to have been. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. Many more Scream videos to come on the channel, and I hope to see you guys there.